Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays with a thing and this time it is legitimately a thing. It's a little off of what I traditionally do uh, but it's technology and it's interesting to me anyways how this stuff works. It is, as best as I can describe it simply anyways, a posh keg. So it's for people who want to have their own indoor bars but they can't afford actually getting the piping and the taps and all that fun stuff. So there's the Cynic. And it's actually called Cynic from a company called Cynic. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no specific model name for it or anything. It's just Cynic. And it is, as they describe on the box, a beer dispenser chiller pori thing. And as you can very easily tell, it's was a Kickstarter, and it's a startup company. You can tell because they, they make the jokes like that. Just goofy little stuff like that. It gets attention, and it's actually, I, I like it. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but, uh, yes, so let's take this thing out of the box. I'm actually going to cut here and take it out of the box because it's kind of large, it weighs a lot, and i got to put it on the floor to actually take it all out of the box. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back, and I'll explain what everything is, what came in the box. And here it is, our Cynic Beer Dispenser Chiller Pori Thing. And a little bit of a disclaimer, this is actually our second Cynic Dispenser. Our first one was damaged in shipping, and that's going to become important here in a second. So what came in the box? Well, we got the Cynic itself, and basically this is a refrigerator, basically. It's got the chilling side here, with all the necessary tubage, and then we have on this side a place to put in a CO2 canister. Uh, we got a mat, basically, it's to go underneath like that for spillage and stuff, so you don't have to worry about spilling your beer and making a mess on your counter. It's just on this thing, and this thing can go in like the dishwasher, and it's not a problem. Uh, then we have our tap itself. And this is a standard sized tap. So you can actually put your own tap handles on it, which we intend to do at some point in time. Uh, the first tap handle. So you have, you know, something. Uh, power cable. Now this is a standard... Uh, well, computer power cable, what I'm used to seeing on computers, but it's just a standard cable. People probably have like dozens of them, and they're easy to find and buy in case you break it or something. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Cynic Instruction Manual. Now, you'll notice that there's something missing from this list of things, and that is, one, the CO2 canister, which... I would assume is supposed to come with the machine. And two, something to go in here. Now this is what they call the Cynic cartridge, I believe. And it's not supposed to come with the machine. You gotta buy those separately because they're limited use. Um, and they're cheap, so you have to just go buy them. You can pretty much probably pick them up wherever you go to get them filled with the beer. Now, this isn't a big problem because, as I said, we had a previous one that got damaged in shipping, and they were nice enough to send us out a replacement without any big problem. So, we have a Cynic CO2 canister. Uh, we already got this filled with CO2. I can imagine that you can get it filled at any, like, restaurant, warehouse, or anything like that, because restaurants have to have CO2 canisters for soda, and bars have to have CO2 canisters for the beer. Uh, because you don't want oxygen touching your beer, or your soda, because it kind of makes things it. Uh, but, um, the Cynic can or the, uh, the CO2 canister... Is it just has a standard CO2, you know, nozzle, so you can get this filled up anywhere where they deal with CO2 canisters, like for example wherever they deal with paintballs, because paintball guns use compressed CO2 as propulsion. So you can literally fill these up at Dick's Sporting Goods, 
And in fact, we did. We went down there for like, I don't know, it was like five bucks. We filled this thing up. They didn't even question it. They didn't even look at it weird. They just, it's a standard nozzle. So they just went into the back and filled it. So not a big problem at all. Now the cartridges, as Cynic calls them, are actually bags. And they're, they're just bags of beer, to say the least. I'm not kidding when I say it's, it's a bag of beer. Um, and you can get these filled any pretty much anywhere. Uh, some bars, well, lots of bars, will have specific adapters that attach to the top of the bag so that you get less oxygen into them. But you don't have to have that there. So you can get... Uh, you know, anywhere to fill it, really, as long as they're willing to fill a bag of beer for you. And these are supposed to be gallon-sized, but I don't know. I may be a little mistaken, but I don't think this is gallon-sized. It doesn't feel like it's gallon-sized. Hmm. I may have to measure that at some point. Hmm. But basically... Uh, oh, what else are we missing? Because I just realized we're missing other things that I'm going to have to go grab from the other cynic. Hmm, this strikes me as a little odd. Maybe, maybe, maybe they did this because it's a replacement. They knew we already had one. They knew it was damaged. So they didn't include all the little bits. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. Um, but I'm going to go look at the other one that we have and pick out the parts that I know we don't have here. I will be right back. Okay, so the other parts that we're missing were the regulator. Now this regulator is custom built for Cynic, for specifically for beer. So you can't exactly just go pick one of these things up. You kind of have to use theirs. And then this adapter, it's the bag adapter. So it goes into the bag. So this goes to the bottom of the bag so you can actually suck out the beer from the bottom. Believe me, incredibly useful. And then this connects to the you know, machine. So we got a CO2 input and then we have the beer output, you know, basic stuff like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to assume that that didn't come with our Cynic because it's our second Cynic. This is a replacement one that was damaged. Um, so I'm going to give them the benefit of that on that one. All right. So how do we put this thing together? Because it's kind of in a bunch of pieces right now. Well, let's look at the manual. Okay, so first things first. We need to set up your machine before any beer can be poured. Push back all of your admiring friends who are dying to try your beers so you have some space to work. And it's got a little lady face palming. Ah, don't you just love the humor of startup companies? All right, so we start by screwing in the CO2 tank to the regulator. Well... As you notice, there's no regulator attached to this thing. And it very clearly shows in the picture that the regulator is attached to the hose. So let's start with that, um, which, again, I'm not 100% sure if it's supposed to come pre-attached. I mean, when we got this thing, it was bubble wrapped. And it is kind of delicate, so I would assume they wouldn't just have it hanging around inside of here. Plus, the thing is heavy, so I would assume they wouldn't want it just bouncing back and forth off of the inside of this thing. So I would assume that no, this thing does not come attached. However, it is a very simple compression fitting. fitting. So you just got a nut that you unscrew. You put the nut on the hose, and then you slide the nut or the slide the hose down over the little lip here, and then just screw the nut back down to hold the hose in place. Simple as that. Now, if I had to guess, I would guess that this is a metric nut. I, however, only have uh, wrenches in Imperial, so I'm using a 5 8 inch wrench. Don't tighten it down too tight. You don't want to damage the hose. Just tight enough that you, you're confident that it's not going to pop off by accident or leak. There, that's as tight as I'm confident enough to do it. All right, 
Now for the fun part, let's make sure that the regulator is set to off. And, well, let's plug in the Cynic cartridge. <laughs> I'm not terribly comfortable with all of this. I don't like high pressure environments, but it shouldn't be a big problem. There's not a lot of space for CO2 to fill up inside of it. So it's not going to be you know, a big problem. Again, you don't want to tighten too tight. I mean, you want to be tight enough so that you don't have to worry about it leaking, but you don't want to tighten it too tight or you risk damaging the O-ring inside of it, inside of the, or on the Cynic canister, which of course could be a problem. Now the next step in the instructions, set the regulator, do this before clicking on a bag of beer. So that means that this hose is like a, a one-way valve or something like that. Uh, basically, you can't accidentally you know, have it leak or anything like that. So we should be able to turn this on without any problems. And if we turn it on, and there we go. We have pressure. And we, can, and we can see that there is a needle in there, in the regulator, to tell you where you should be. It's got a blue for too low, a green for medium, and a red for high. So I would assume that you would want it in the medium. I think that's what the instructions say. Let me double check. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Beer tip. Beer quality is highly dependent on elevation. Lower elevations, i.e. the beach, require lower CO2 pressure, while higher elevations require higher pressure. Uh, we are in Pittsburgh. I have no idea. I'm going to go with medium and go from there. All right. And then the next thing is to pop in the cold beer and make sure the cap is fastened tightly to the bag and insert the bag so that the cap is facing up and to the right. Again, I've actually got a bag of water here. I don't actually have a bag of beer. And really, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. We're going to go fill up a bag of beer here shortly and go from there. But basically, what you're supposed to do, the cap here is supposed to go up here. And of course, you're actually supposed to have this thing in here first. But uh, I want to test and make sure that the refrigeration function works, hence the bag of water. That way we're not wasting beer, not risking worrying, wasting beer. Uh, so I'm going to sit the bag in here, let the cooling test, make sure that it, the refrigerator cools without problem, and then we're going to go fill a bag of beer and then we're going to go through the rest of the steps. So we've got our bag of beer. We even got a custom tap handle to fit the occasion to go with the beer that we have in the system right now. So all that's left to do is to actually connect the beer to said system. And that's fairly straightforward. We have two hoses to play with. We have the tap hose and we have the CO2 hose. Now they just snap right into place and you can't screw them up because they're based on size. So we have our very large bag of beer in here, Ugh, caught up in our tubes, and then we just snap the CO2 in, and then we snap in our tap, click, and it's just that simple. All you got to do is put everything, close everything up, make sure your hoses aren't, you know, mixed up or bent, twisted. All right, got our beer in. We plug in our system. We make sure it's set for the proper beer temperature, which is actually about 34 degrees. I've already set this and cooled down the system, you know, to keep our beer cold while I'm setting up for recording. And uh, well, right now it's 38 degrees, but that's because I had the door open because I was putting everything in place. And we really should be good to go. 
Now, as I'm sure I've said before, I don't particularly like beer. I'm more interested in the technology. Uh, so I have a beer expert here with me today to take care of this step of the, well, video. Mostly because it's pouring and drinking. Just to make sure everything works right. Well, we're going to start out. There's an adjustment valve here that controls the flow. So I'm going to use this plastic disposable cup to flush the system and to get a nice adjustment of pour speed so that I'm not getting too much foam out of the beer. That looks pretty good. I'm going to set that aside. That's the first little drag. And now for the first official fill. To Cinex. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. It's good. All right. Well, there you go. That wraps up that. We have a new refrigerator, basically. And uh, so I will end the episode here, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.